I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Lovely Weather We're Having. This game requires actually kind of a lot of explanation. This is an unusual little thing where the game, what happens in the game is all based off of your local weather and like temperature and stuff. It can be four centimeters more. <laughs> and everything people say is relate, well, it's based off of the temperature and stuff. But it's not actually about it, like, necessarily, directly. Getting a new hairstyle? Sounds like a good time for a change, buddy. So a lot of the characters have specific things they like to chat about. Um, there's the little ant. Hey, auntie. Sometimes they do chat about the... Oh, sorry, ant. I'm just going to destroy your house here. Um... Some do chat about the weather, and sometimes it's just different stuff. I was hoping to play this today because it was it's raining today, and sure enough, it's raining in the game. The way the game determines your location is um, it goes by your IP, and then it uses the service to find your IP um, only within 15 miles, you know, to protect your privacy. Um, so it finds your general location and then finds out weather, and then... And then it, you know, presents you the game. Oh, you are you stuck on the wall with gum? What's sappy? I just like you think you're cool. Okay. I like how the models look a little wet. And I really like this guy's um, graphics. I like it's... Uh, <laughs> It's a sort of clay made it look. And um, there's actually a cheat code. I'm not sure I can share it, but uh, I used a... There's a cheat code that lets you basically change all the, the weather conditions and stuff just to see what happens. But... That's Tui. He went to college. How impressive. But the way you're supposed to play this game is you peek in, you poke around for like... I think even 10 minutes might be too much. Uh, you just poke around, you see how everybody's doing. Um, I should really be in front of this, shouldn't I? Um, can I come around back? Oh, now I'm on top of the house. There we go. So, yeah, what you're supposed to do is just play it bit by bit. Like, it's a game to just relax with and just see what's going on in this weird little town. And it changes every day and you can't really play it too much at once because, you know, it won't change unless the weather changes. So let's see if our water friend is here. There he is. What's going on, buddy? I just can't swim. The water's actually blue for once. That's... Slightly concerning statement. Oh, the water, the dog won't follow us into the water. I guess that makes sense. See, so yeah, there's, I'm not sure exactly how many people. There's maybe, I'd say between, there's maybe around 20 little peoples. Um, I already saw the ant. They usually have one question and one, like, second statement. So you just kind of wander around, see how things are different, and, like, Everything changes. I'll actually go ahead and end this day, and I'll take a peek once we've got some different weather and time conditions. Oh, yeah, it goes by time, too. So, like, morning, noon, night are all a little bit different. Well, not a little bit. It's pretty significantly different. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and take a time warp and see what it looks like then. All right. I will admit to some slight cheating here. I went and entered the code to uh, set this temperature to 100 degrees because there's some... Fun little chats that happen here. So let's hopefully try and trigger those. I also decided to play at a different time of day. Um, not exactly when it sure when it goes to night, but it takes quite a while to go from evening to night. It gives uh there's different ambiance and uh, you know sound visual stuff when you uh, are at a different time period. It seems like there's only four time periods: morning, um, midday, evening, and night. 
And I like this, I like this glow we've got going on here, just... Not sure it's, oh. Oh, right! Physics! Woo! Everybody loves physics. They accidentally kick down the trees with the rocks. Yeah, we can just knock those down and... Just kind of push these into the water. Which is exactly what you're supposed to do with lumber. Where is our giant monster dude? Is he over here? Uh, maybe back over here. Let's see what he's got to say. Um, so, in the, like, weird... The way this game... Oh, here we go. So, yeah, as you can see, they they have some stuff referencing the actual temperature. Yeah, we were, we were trying to boil you. Nice lemon-based marinade. That yeah, sounds delicious, actually. Go for it, buddy. Yeah, my light, nightly glow is pretty amazing. It's not quite centered very properly, but you know, whatever works. But yeah, so this is like kind of an alt game Animal Crossing, I guess, because like the way it works is basically you just pop in every, you know, pop in for like 10 minutes. What's going on, Ant? Um. Yeah, I'm not sure who would go around kicking ant villages. I have no idea. I just don't. There are day ghosts. Pfft. Biased against day ghosts. It's ridiculous. Oh, what are you? Your TV? Oh, your computer. Let's get some dogs playing tennis. Uh, you got anything else? Excuse me. They usually have at least two things they say. Night computing. I love it. Hack the mainframe, buddy. Ah. Chatbot. Oh. You're very much a computer. I see. You remind me of that creepy thing. Oh, that was the same one. Um, that don't ask me I'm scared, like, number three or whatever with the computer. Walking through the grain field sounds kind of more like running water, actually. Um, but yeah, so it's an interesting concept of, like, just... You want to pop in here, poke around, see how everything's different in different weather conditions, and you don't... It's kind of interesting that you don't have control over what's going on. We got... Oh. It... it excuse me? Gronga! Gronga! What's Grunga? Hello, Grunga. Grunga! We must, we must discuss things, Grunga. Grunga! Can I push you off the edge? Can I? I'm not sure if I'm pushing. No, I can't. What's up, Grunga? Is it all? Grunga! Grunga! I guess that's all he's got to say. Propos of nothing, this, um... This works just fine with the default Steam controller configuration for keyboardy games. Just happens to work. He fainted. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's like a machine. Uh, there's one other. There's a couple other people I want to talk to actually. There's somebody in a pool over here. That's concerning, actually. You probably shouldn't actually be glued in there. I mean, sometimes you might want to come out. Um, one thing I will say about the cheat code, I'm not sure if I should give it out, but um, there is a hint in-game to the cheat code. That's all I'll say. La, 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 la. What's going on here, Mr. Bubblegum to the wall? Oh, sorry. I guess it's kind of directly in your face, isn't it? I'm sure sometimes you have to like walk around. What's it mean? What does it mean? Aw, oh, come on, man. Come on, brah. Brah. Got all kinds of haptic feedback that means nothing. I don't entirely hate the Steam controller, but it's kind of limited use. I can't get on these. Oh, there we go. Getting around the stairs is a little weird. Alright, I think we've seen everybody. So, 
Yeah, this is just kind of a weird chill game. You just poke around in, say hey to everybody a couple times, and you pop in, and all the colors are different. Like you, you probably noticed, but I mean, the colors are all green and red now because it's all hot. Um, temperatures are really low. The color gets way different. Rain changes things. Fog changes things. Snow. And physics. Physics are always great. Just... I love these physics. Oop. Physics, no! Stop that. There we go. Oop. Some very interesting physics going on here. And this dog. Can we talk to the dog? Uh, no. He's just... And the dog changes colors. I think we changed colors too, didn't we? We were blue before. Yeah, that's, that's probably fine. It's totally normal to change color in uh, in different weather conditions. That's that is fine. Let's take a dip. So yeah, this is lovely weather we're having. I guess he was kind of right. The water isn't always blue. Wow, well, this is lovely weather we're having, and it sure was lovely. Especially the lovely night they got. Is there? I think that tree I knocked into the water is here. I love anything that just has random physic physics objects I can screw with. Like, I abuse that a lot in Soma, just like picking up the horrible severed hand, like shoving it in the microwave, just just some great pointless crap you can do. Anyway, does it I don't think the dog actually follows us in. No, he doesn't. He's a smart doggy. Who's a smart doggy? Yes, you is.